Okay, you guys, so I have the new canister hooked up to the 36 gallon. And uh, as you can see, there's the spray bar. Now, this one here is the 303B. Seems to be working pretty good. So it has three trays and the UV. With this one here, I have the foam pads, different uh, grades, and then I got a polishing pad, and then I got my media on top. I actually forgot to put some uh, stability in here. I gotta do that. Um, I gotta clean this tank. But it seems to be working good. <coughs> they hang on back. <coughs> Excuse me, just it was stunk. I don't like hang on backs. So this 304 or 303B comes with the mounting hardware to your, to your uh, inlet and outlet. As you can see. Thank God because this is a rimless tank. And yeah, but uh, the 303B hopefully will clear this tank out. The plants are doing really good. I mean, I have CO2 going here, just very little. Um, looks like it needs to be turned out, but I also have the inline. Uh, diffuser coming for this tank so I'm just going to leave it for now I find that the inline diffusers or the uh, in tank diffusers they hold back a lot of pressure they don't release CO2 like they're supposed to the bubbles is not as fine I mean you might be able to buy one up there it's like 40 bucks 50 bucks uh, that may be fine but if you're going to spend that much money you might as well get the inline and the bubbles are very fine I have them hooked up on my 75 and 60 gallon, and they're working really good. I noticed a big difference with my regulator wasn't acting up. Uh, it's not holding back so much pressure. But this tank's doing good. Got to get some red in here. The rainbows. Uh, these are Bosmanis. As you can see, I've got... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five males, two or three females. But uh, this tank needs a water change now and glass cleaned stability. I'm going to put some fertilizer in here. Yeah, but at this side, sure, I didn't do an unboxing of the 303B. Uh, everybody can go look at the unboxings of these canisters. Uh, this is by Sun Sun. This canister works really well. I have two of them. I got the 304Bs, five stages, and they work really good. So I paid $39 or $139 for this one and hooked it up last night. The water is much clearer. But the glass is dirty. That's what happens when you have hang on backs. As you can see, hang on back canisters just doesn't, uh, or hang on back filters just don't cut it. Um, they don't clean the water like it should, like I like it. Plus, all the smell is down in the canister. You don't smell nothing, there's no smell from the tank. But when you get that hang on back, you just got smell coming from that. You can smell it. I don't like that. But I need to get the inline diffuser on this and get the CO2 pumping. And um, I think I got to, maybe I will turn up the CO2 a little bit until the inline gets here. Because I don't want these plants to die. But 
Anyway, there's Tetris, neon blue Tetris. I got six in here and six in the 30 gallon. I had to take the guppies out because the uh, Bozmanis babies were just eating the tails off the guppies. So I had to take them out. They wouldn't leave them alone. They're getting pretty big though. I raise these little guys. And I'll have probably a male and a female for sale. Probably two females and a male. I don't know yet. I have a whole bunch more coming. Uh, I have probably, I think it's nine more of the Bozmanis. I got about 27 uh, blue Kamakos. Uh, and they're all doing good. They're babies. But I got to finish painting. I won't be able to paint that side too much. I'll just get as far as I can. I thank God the tank was out. Away from the wall quite a bit so I could paint in behind it. But right now that's where the 36 gallon is at. Everything's growing good in there. I need some fertilizer now. And I'm um, thinking about switching over to black diamond sand on top of this. Yep. I'll probably get a couple bags of black diamond sand. And uh, spread it over the top of this rock. And put some more root tabs in. And I'm looking for a piece of wood that I can silicone with a curve that goes up like this. And I can maybe silicone to the two rocks or the three rocks and have it like a kind of a U shape with some height on it. That would be nice. And I can plant some Nubius and stuff like that on it. Blue some Nubius, as you say. I have some other plants I can grow. I can't remember any name of the plants, but, um, but my main goal now is to get the tank balanced. The 75 gallon is finally balancing out. And she's starting to look good. I'll do a video on that tonight. I'll be uploading it in a couple days. We're now just being able to uh, visit my family because of this COVID-19. Oh, it's a pain in the butt. I painted the whole house. As in the previous video that you see there, I had to get curtains up. But I painted the whole house. I was just everything, doors, trim, baseboards. The only thing I didn't do was the ceiling. Not half a new fan. But, uh, yeah. I just wanted to do a little video on the 36 with the new canister. Um, I'll do some videos tonight on the 75. Show you what it looks like. I, this previous video you guys are going to watch. Um, it was nighttime. I made the video on the uh, uh, inline diffusers. Um you guys have any questions just uh feel free to you know ask questions or whatever or a little chit chat but thanks for watching you guys just wanted to do a quick video on the sun sun 304 or 303b very good canister very reliable i do recommend purchasing a new gasket and the um this little unit right here on top that your hose is hooked to i recommend having a backup of one of those and a backup o-ring just to have put away and make sure when you take those apart you use that uh, uh, grease for the rubbers make sure they're no they're not dry because that's when you run into problems but thanks for watching you guys